Hello fellow Astro Photographers, welcome to unboxing video of Player One Poseidon C Cooled Camera. Um, as you probably already know yourself, it is tricky to get enough data for each channel you want to image with mono camera when you have limited clear skies. Um, so I have decided to switch from mono camera to color camera to get as much as possible out of a few clear nights we have here. Um, I decided to go with uh, newest Player One cooled camera Poseidon C. I already have their Neptune C2 camera for planetary work and for uh, all sky camera. It's a very good camera, I'm happy with it, so I wanted to give the cooled camera a try. Now for broadband imaging, I will be using Optolong L Pro filter. Uh, which blocks ultraviolet, infrared and many sources of light pollution. Uh, now for narrow band imaging, I will be using Optolong L-Extreme filter. This is a dual pass filter, a dual band filter, which uh, lets through H-Alpha and O3 signal. I will be testing uh, this setup on my Red Cat 71 in combination with our Deep Sky Net Field Detector, Autofocuser, DC Hub Power Splitter and Flat Panel. Now let's get into it. It comes with a braided USB C cable. a nice bag to protect it. There is also additional angled cable. If you prefer this for cable management, we offer something similar for our RedCat uh, ZWO electronic autofocuser adapter. And additional cable from USB-C mail to USB-B mail. Move this aside, open this up. Smart bag design, it opens up like into two halves, not just at the top where you have to pull it out and it can slip away from your hands. It comes with uh, the velcro strips for cable management. These are probably the spare bolts. The little hand-operated blower to clean the sensor. And these are M48 adapters. This is probably used to achieve uh, the optimal back focus from your uh, telescope to the camera. And there is also the adapter to convert to 1.25 uh, inch focusers, for example, if you wanted to attach it to a smaller focuser. And there is also a little conversion ring from M48 to M42 because this thread is M42. And that's about it. Let's get the camera. It's got pretty unique design, it's not around all the way, like for example ZWO cameras. Okay, let's take a look at the camera. It comes with IMX571 APS-C format sensor. Uh, it's the same sensor as in ZWO 2600 color camera. Um, at the back we have two ports, one is for main connection to PC, one is for connecting the auxiliary devices, for example, 
filter wheel um, and here we have charging port for the cooler the front of the camera has cover with integrated o-ring which offers good sealing when you store the camera to prevent dust entering let's seal it back up and one, uh, what I like very much about this camera is the tilt plate which is accessible from behind so you can easily adjust the tilt when the camera is connected to your telescope you can simply make exposure, check the tilt, adjust the tilt and make another exposure and work like that to quickly achieve the flat field um, that's about it I think looks very professionally made I really like it, seems similar can't wait to give this a try on the clear sky so the setup is ready for the first light I apologize for the messy cable management but I have to be quick because I have to make the most of the clear sky we currently have so here we have the new player 1 Poseidon C camera in front of it we have filter drawer after that we have our deep sky dead field rotator and red cat 71 here is the C hub splitter and our autofocus. Tonight it looks like it's gonna be clear. Uh, I'm gonna try to image right now where we have to under pro filter uh, because the moon is already rising quite late now. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Clear skies. Hello and welcome to Deep Sky Dead Observatory Control Room. Um, tonight I'll be doing some more imaging with my new Poseidon C camera on the Red Cat 71. Um, it's not technically first light because I already imaged uh, last two nights, uh, but today I will make a short session of the process. So we have already opened the Sequence Generator Pro. I have three targets scheduled for tonight. Uh, M42 Orion Nebula, Christmas trees and surrounding nebulosity and uh, some galaxies in Virgo, Markarian chain, etc. Um, now each target has their own coordinates and uh, rotation angle which we um, achieve with our deep sky dead field rotator. So this one is at 86 degrees, this one is at 174 degrees and this one is at 199 degrees so let's first cool down the camera everything is connected and ready to go now let's center the M42 first Play solved now it uh, will readjust it's a bit off because I was fiddling around and doing some cable management earlier so it's not it was not really in proper parked position but that's not a problem if you have um, <coughs> plate solving okay let's see oh here it is nice in the center um, <coughs> sorry <coughs> Now, if you can, if you check the position, you can see that the central nebulosity is here, but the running man nebula is like above it. And what I want for this framing is at the side is, is that uh, the main nebula is in center like this, but the running man is at the side, so approximately 90 degrees turned. Um, but since we have uh, the uh, deep sky dead field rotator connected and we have entered the desired angle, we simply say rotate camera. This is done automatically for uh, next target after um, it uh, is uh, time to change it. Um, that's usually when I sleep already, so I don't have any work with that, but I wanted to show this manually first just to see how it works. Now let's wait.
Okay. It's rotated. Now the central nebula is here and running main is here like I wanted. This is done. Now let's just run quick autofocus before we start the session. Okay, so we have a nice V curve. Autofocus is finished. Now we can begin the session. We will start imaging even though the camera is not cooled down yet. It will be soon though, it's minus 5 degrees Celsius now. It's important not to cool it too fast. It's like a general rule I follow because some cameras are pretty um, sensitive and they tend to fog up if you are too fast on cooling. Okay, now we are exposing. Um, uh, this target is set to finish at 11 p.m. because after that it actually sets behind the neighbor's house. So after that, the sequence generator probably will automatically slew to the Christmas tree area um, and automatically rotate to the desired angle. And uh, at 1.30 in the morning it will end and slew to the Markarian chain area um, and finish at 5. Um, after that it will park the telescope and warm up the camera and that's it. Now let's wait for first light. Okay, so second frame of the night is in, um, it properly, properly cooled down camera, looks really nice, lots of detail in the nebula, um, framing is as I wanted it, um, lots of uh, dust visible in the background obscuring the stars. Um, I'll gather a few more nights on this and then I'm gonna process it. Um, so far I'm really happy with the camera, worked out of the box flawlessly, um, it has really nice well depth, for example it's I think a little bit better than ZWO 2600 uh, color camera. Um, and also the tilt adjustment from the backside is really awesome feature, plus it looks good. So, so far so good, um, I hope you learned something useful from this video um, and see you in the next one. Clear skies.